all right guys so uh last night was a blast uh took the car out everything went smooth uh, coolant they didn't have any leaks on the coolant uh no leaks on the fuel line no leaks on the oil line no leaks at all at least that's what i thought so this guy here this morning or should i say uh this afternoon when i got off work um check this out it was leaking now it was feeling kind of spongy when i was driving and uh it was fine at first but i think in the last like hour of driving and coming back home I started feeling a little spongy so i didn't panic too much it was it was still working i just had to kind of like pump it and you know it would start working great but uh my biggest fear was that it was maybe coming from the caliper but uh everything seemed dry and i was just uh trying to you know see what was going on so i started in the front worked my way back and ended up here i figured maybe this thing was cracked or something you know because it looks all old and beat up but um no it turns out those uh the nos master cylinder so i have to swap this out all right guys so turned out to be a lot harder than i thought um so this is the original old master cylinder brake master cylinder and this one we're gonna get to this one but uh so right quick uh yep you can't find them they don't make them anymore i uh, reached out to uh phil's he doesn't have it i'm trying to keep the car original as possible like i said but sometimes it's kind of like impossible so uh yeah they don't make these anymore uh tried old old uh old parts here in the u.s went online every any any uh online store you guys could think of and uh yeah no one seems to have it so um a while back i uh, had the same issue with the rx2 and uh oh yeah by the way the rebuilt kit too so uh the rx2 um i had the same issue couldn't find anything i was trying to get it back on the road i could be a little impatient sometimes so i remember i used one of these on the rx2 and this is from uh 1974 uh ford courier so it's pretty interesting that they still carry these here in the u.s dime a dozen they have a whole bunch now some of you might say hey why don't you just go with the uh, rx7 yeah see the rx7 doesn't have this banjo fitting it has one in the front i believe and then the other one you, you just you know thread that smaller one on there but it doesn't have the two banjo fittings so this is um as close as i could get uh to the rx4 without um doing anything too crazy or redoing the lines now these are kind of you know they're more spread than the ford courier but uh, i could still make it work at least i think i can um i did measure the the inside shaft to uh, the original rx4 it's gonna fit right on the money uh the diameter on this one is a bit smaller okay, let me see let me take this off it's a bit smaller, so diameter on this one's a bit, yeah, it's a bit smaller than this one here. So I don't know if that's going to be an issue, but it's no biggie. I could always uh, swap it out. I think I have some RX2 uh, little uh, shafts that go in here, and uh, shouldn't be a big deal. <laughs> At least I don't think it, it should. But so, as you guys seen on on the RX4, the reservoir on the RX4. Uh, it's pretty beat up it's gone it's it's, it's it, it looks ugly pretty much so um i did invest in new lines and unfortunately um that's just the nature of the game sometimes you just can't get to it so i'm at the setup for this one this one's nice looks clean brand new so it's gonna make the car look a lot nicer and cleaner under the hood unfortunately at least at, at this moment i won't be able to uh, go with the original look uh, i was i was trying to get a rebuild kit for a uh, for this one and um yeah they don't they don't have any i believe uh there's this one place in australia that did have it but they were asking for the measurements the sizes and so it's, it's it, it was just frustrating so um before i went and ordered it uh i did uh 
kind of shine the light on here because I've, I've had this issues quite a few times or more than I would like to admit but there is some scoring in there um, it's rusted up so anytime you have a master cylinder that's rusted up that has any kind of corrosion or, or scoring in there yeah you gotta get rid of it and uh, buy a new one you can't you pretty much can't rebuild this even if you get the new uh, rubbers here uh, any little kind of scoring because I've had this issue. It's just not gonna work. It's gonna leak All right, I got my little special wrench right here. You always want to use these type of wrenches um, That will definitely uh, Help from getting these stripped or these down here. So first things first I'm gonna have to drain All the fluid out So we won't make a mess This is the NOS one, you can see it right there. Straight leaking. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, it didn't last that long. It didn't last much. But, um, I'm just curious to see what's going on inside here. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really see anything wrong with it other than uh, I mean, it's pretty hard. It's not soft or anything. So there is like a little I don't know if you guys could see. It. There's a little like it's kind of chewed up right there on that edge. But and then there is some um a little bit of a uh, corrosion here and uh, up here too and then kind of deep in here so yeah I think it's just that whole shelf life thing type of deal that uh, yeah it's just you know the, the NOS but I mean it looks great I could probably just swap uh, these rubbers out in the future and reuse you know everything on there but the bore inside does look corroded um yeah yeah every time i run this thing through here you could it kind of stops so yes moisture got in there somehow right here too so i would wrap down up in here I'm sorry guys, can't see that, but yeah, up in here too. Yeah, moisture got in there for sure somehow. You guys could kind of see it here too. So yeah, just always double check your NOS parts. 
um, especially if it has, it has to do anything with, you know, brakes and uh, rubber, and, you know. Oh, well, here we go. So I just want to go ahead and make sure first that the size on this is going to fit. The new one doesn't want to fit. And I'm guessing this because this one's one and a quarter. Let's see, one, two, yeah, one and a quarter. And this one, it's obviously bigger. <laughs> yeah, it's a bottom. It's about an eighth, so I'm just gonna have to shave off about a sixteenth all the way around, which is not bad. I mean, it doesn't want to sit flush. There's a little gap. I was thinking of adding a washer, but then I would have a gap. I think it's just a lot easier if I just shave off about a sixteenth of an inch all around with the file, or maybe with the Dremel, and it should go right in. Alright guys, but I think we're finally there. It took a while, but you guys could see it. It's not perfect. But it's near the ballpark, so I'm gonna keep working at it and I'll try to get it as round as possible. Or maybe I'll just leave it like that and go test fit it and I'll see where we at. good to me it's right on there so and I was checking these out it looks like I'm not even gonna have to uh, do too much to it over here so uh, yeah it's pretty exciting um, saving some time and work so yeah it was worth it all right so uh master cylinders pre-bled and i want to make sure this time that it's not leaking from here so uh, i've been pumping it for a minute already and uh yeah i don't see any leaks so i think this is a win-win over here Alright guys, so uh, pretty much just topped it off and uh, I'm going to start with the closest side to the master cylinder and uh, I'm going to do it the old school way. going to have my wife pump it like 10 times. I'm going to put this in on the caliper and just start painting. Alright guys, so we're in an open and empty road. Um, it's uh, brakes feel great. They're not spongy or going all the way down on their own, so the car's stopping on the dime. So um, I'm going to get off and check in a little bit, make sure it's not leaking or anything. All right, guys, we're here in Miami Beach. So making a quick uh, pit stop. Just, everything looks nice and dry, so that's what we want to see. So uh, I'll check it a couple more times. There's no oil leaks or nothing once again. So. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with this build so far. So um, I do expect a little, a few oil leaks here and there, but so far nothing. So it's always great.
at this fix right here, this visor. Keeps falling. Hey, relax. What's wrong with you? Wow. Why'd you? Okay, get, get on. Hold on, hold on. Man, in and out's packed. Well, they do have the greatest burgers in the world. Wow. Check this out, fellas. All this just for some burgers. Man, they're bomb, though. Man. All right, we're going to have to get off and just order inside. We don't want to kill everybody with the fumes. Man. Oh yeah, in and out. I get something to eat. And I'm gonna uh, do a quick pit stop on the RX4. Just park over there.